Hello guys, you are welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to look at how to get the best FPS in the newly released EA FC 25. PC users have the luxury of optimizing our games even if you're on low-end hardware. Now, let's get into the video. First thing we're going to do is to go into settings and turn on game mode. So go to settings and click on gaming. In the gaming area, make sure to turn off game bar and turn off captures. And now we go back to game mode. Make sure that game mode is turned on. When you're in a game, game mode prevents Windows driver updates, restart notifications, and helps to improve and gives you a stabilized frame rate. We're going to click on graphics as the related settings here but you can click on System, Display, and then Graphics if it doesn't appear here. Click on Browse and select FC25. You have to remember the drive and folder it is in. After you've selected, click on Add. Now you'll see it appear here. Click on Options and then select High Performance and click on Save. A very important step here. Right-click on the FC25 icon on Desktop and then click on Open File Location. While in the FC25 folder, right-click on the game and click on Properties. Click on Compatibility and select Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Now click on High DPI Settings and select Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Now click on Apply and then click on OK. For the next step, Click on Search in the taskbar and type Advanced System Settings. When it launches, click on Settings in the Performance section. Now click on Custom and select these four. Enable Peak, Smooth Edges on Screen Fonts, Show Window Contents while Dragging and Show Thumbnails instead of Icons. Click on Apply and then on OK. After doing all these windows and system settings, let's open the game and finish this up. Use your left stick to move the settings icon in the top left and open up settings. In settings, go to game settings. Use the right top trigger to move to display configuration. First thing here is resolution. Make sure the resolution here is the same as that of your monitor's native resolution. Display mode should always be on full screen. There are a few options here like Windows Borderless, but always leave it on full screen. Refresh rate should be set to the highest refresh rate of your monitor. Mine can only reach 60 Hz, that's why it's grayed out. Now to frame rate. If you use a low-end PC or you're on a laptop, it will be best to lock your frame rate at 30 or 60 FPS. If you have a very good system, you can select No Limit to FPS to get maximum frame rate. Vertical Sync locks the frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate. So in my case, 60. I always prefer having it turned on. Dynamic Resolution Scale should be turned off. Cutscene. Quality can be left on either options, honestly. On full frame rate, the cutscenes will play at the resolution the game is hitting. But on half frame rate, that number will be divided in two. In game, I get 60 FPS, but my cutscenes run at 30 FPS. Strand based hair should be turned off. For performance, the best rendering quality to use is low or medium. Ultra and high practically look the same. Grass quality should be set to low. Crowd quality and cloth quality can also be set to low. They don't make much of a difference. If you want a more visually pleasing game, you can set all these settings to medium. Ambient occlusion and motion blur should all be set to, you guessed it, low. Now there are a few more things that can eat up your video memory and cause lag. So use the triggers or your mouse and move to the Visual tab. First thing is Play Style plus Overhead Indicators. I actually like seeing them, so I will leave it on. But if you want to squeeze out every bit of FPS possible, turn it off. Hypermotion Insight Overlays should definitely be turned off. 
Now click on Apply or press the Options button on your controller to save these changes. Now you can enter a game and enjoy the smooth gameplay of EAFC 25. If my content helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.